everybody, Anne here, and Miss Judy, the pretty dog, just being all good, sitting back there right now with the sunshine shining on her, sitting here having my coffee with all of you, and spoiler alert, I didn't do the insulation. I ended up doing a couple other things. I put together, see that behind me? There's no more of the turquoise right there. I had ordered a shelving unit, and um, it actually got lost in the mail. So, uh, Amazon gave me a refund. Well, it ended up showing up. So, they're either expecting me to return it or to go ahead and pay them again for it. And I put it together. I wasn't going to, but I figured I'm going to put this together. If I like it, I'm going to keep it and then just give Amazon their money back. Um, oh, and also as a result of the whole snafu with it getting lost in the mail, uh, they gave me a $5 Amazon credit. So, I put that to good use too. So I put it together and the, the back of it is kind of a blackish color so it just blends in really well. So a little bit later on I'll show you what it looks like um, in my little dressing privacy area whatnot and it works great. Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely going to contact Amazon and have them recharge my card so they can get their money back. But one thing I wanted to, oh gosh, look at the hair. I, I took a shower yesterday. And my hair is always so fuzzy. Gosh, I, I need to just stop it with the hair anyhow. Um, a few videos back, Dawn had brought me this tube. And what it is, Big Bear Homestair made it. And um, it is a pain salve with natural ingredients. I'm not really sure what's in it. And I'm kind of like a doubting Thomas, I guess you call it, um, about these some of these natural remedy things because a lot of it out there on the market is just um, complete garbage, to tell you the truth. It uh, doesn't have all the ingredients in it that they say it has. So I went into the use of this with a lot of skepticism, and I didn't think it was going to work. But I decided to go ahead and give it a try. On my right foot, the big toe, the knuckle down at the bottom, it's swollen, it, it gets swollen, and it just aches all the time. So last night I went ahead and rubbed some of this all around the knuckle and I rubbed it in really well and uh, I just forgot about it. Sorry, somebody was texting me. Anyhow, so I rubbed it all around the knuckle and I rubbed it in real good, put my sock back on and just forgot about it. I figured, you know, why not? At least it's moisturizer, right? Well, I have to tell you that this, whatever it's called, um, I'll try and get a link for you down below. Um, this stuff actually works. It does. I wasn't paying attention to anything and when that knuckle is hurting I have to kind of limp around on that foot because I can't. If you think about the way your foot goes, um, it hurts going both ways. It hurts trying to flex it and it hurts trying to hyperextend it. And so that foot, the rest of them I can do this with, but this, the big toe, it can only, it can just barely even move. So I noticed, I don't know even how long it was to tell you the truth, I was walking around and without my, my shoes on, without slippers on, just my socks, and that's the hardest, that's when it hurts the most, when I'm just walking around with, you know, no shoes on. And I noticed that it wasn't hurting. It wasn't hurting, um, it didn't reduce the swelling, but the joint wasn't hurting. And I noticed that I started to be able to curl the foot, a the toe, a little bit further than I've been able to do in a long time. And I could hyperextend it just a tiny bit, but still not very much because that joint is just, psh, it's shot. And, um, and I could actually do that. And it's been a long time since I've been able to curl that toe down like this. I just can't do it. And I noticed that when walking and when you, you're taking a step at the end of the step, you know, you're on your, your toes, it didn't hurt me to walk on it. So um, I'm definitely going to be contacting Big Bear Homestead, find out more about this and what's in it and, and whatnot, provide you with a link, uh, because it did work for me. Uh, and I was totally, I wasn't in the mindset of, oh, this is a great pain salve, this is going to work for me, because sometimes it's mind over matter, positive thinking, you know, if you go into it with a negative attitude, even if it's medication that's been proven and tested, if you don't believe it's going to work, it's not going to work. Well, I didn't believe any either way. I just put it on and forgot about it. And then later I noticed that the pain in that knuckle was less. 
So um, I'm going to try it on some other parts of my body. This shoulder here, it's a deep, it's a deep pain. And I think there's something structurally wrong with the shoulder, so I'm not sure if this will work. Um, but it might be able to work on the wrist because I have the wrist. <laughs> Judy, what are you doing? So I'm going to check that out and see how that goes. Anyhow, I have to go to town today, so there's not going to be a whole lot going on. Uh, so yeah, I got to go check the eggs. <laughs> Any eggs today? Back girls, go on, go on, go on, go on. Let me get the door closed. All right, looking around, still got a little bit of water, still got some feed. Let's see, anything going on in here we're talking about? Yep, see that? I got one egg. Let me grab it. Oh, shoot, got my glove off. One egg. Still relatively warm. Old chicken. Don't bite me from my backside. That still feels warm down in there. <sighs> yep. Looks like just one egg. That's okay. Somebody's giving me an egg a day. Yep, no other eggs. <laughs> Looks like they're laying right next to that other one. I'm going to just leave it there. Right on. It's time to go see what the water catchment looks like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I haven't got the garbage bags on yet. I will. It's just been so wet. Okay, remember it was like just barely above here. Now it's all the way up to here. That's a lot of water. It's filling up, you guys. Oh, yeah, look, it looks much fuller over here. This must be, I know it's sloped down this way, but it's also, it might be sloped this way, just a teensy bit. Because see, it looks a little bit lower on this side. So, let's go around this way. Look at that. It is almost half full. Almost. Because the little scale ends right at about here. It doesn't measure all the way up to the top. So technically, I mean, you could get probably a little bit more than 300 gallons. But I'm betting that I've got almost half a tank. So maybe about 150 gallons. Right on. See how this one did. Uh, might be hard to see, but it is almost half full. It got a little bit, not too much. And then these two over here, let's see. Oh, this is almost full. Yep, this is almost full. And this is about two-thirds full. So I've got so much water. I'd like to get another spigot for the bottom of this one. <sighs> what a relief. Today is just going to be a very short video because i got so much to do, and, and it's getting kind of late. Well, actually, it's only about... 10, 11 a.m. or so, but I got to go into town. I got to get stuff done in town. That's going to take me all day. Um, I'll show you the little setup behind there later. I've got to get some things organized so that you can see how I actually want it to have. It's going to work out great. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. For watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.